so this topic is now related to dynamics the first uh, we started the topic about the effects of the force so we can the first effect of the force which we discussed that force can change the shape of an object size of an object and then we discuss the hooke's law now the second effect of the force dynamic means uh, we are studying the effect of the force on the speed or the motion of an object when the force affect the motion of an object like if something is moving a force is applied it can stop the object or if something is stationary a force is applied can move the object or if uh, it's a moving object force can change the speed of the object we study in dynamics so newton first law because to explain the motion of an object we use newton's law there are three main laws of newton first second and third uh, but in your course you will learn only first two laws so according to newton first law that if the force is acting on the body is balanced then if it is at rest it will continue to stay at rest what does it mean like example there is a box which is lying on the floor and this box is at rest it is stationary now student a is pushing the box or two students are there they are pulling the box the student a is applying a force of 100 newton and student b is also applying a force of 100 newton but in opposite direction what will be the resultant force here what is the result of the force which is generated by two students a and b a student a is pulling towards right hand side student b is pulling towards left hand side so what will be the result or the net effect of the force so that will be zero newton so we can say here the resultant force is zero newton so according to newton first law when the resultant force is zero newton or there is no resultant force then what will happen to this object if this object will if this object initially was at rest so it will remain at rest it does not move at all that is the first statement that if an object is acted upon by a balance force what is the meaning of a balance force balance forces means that the result of the forces should be zero so when the result of the forces is zero we call them as a balance force and according to newton first law if the object is a stationary object it will remain at rest it will not move at all even though there are forces acting on the object is it clear the first statement then the second statement if it is a moving object like example if there is a car example if there is a car which is moving with a speed of say 3 meter per second that's the speed of the car so it's a moving object and now what happened the forces are acting on the car now the car is moving towards right there's a force of 20 newton on the right hand side and there is a force of 20 newton on the left hand side and originally this object is moving towards the right hand side with a speed of 3 meter per second so according to newton first law if it is a moving object and the forces are balanced how the forces are balanced because 20 newton on the right and 20 newton on the left so the resultant force will be zero so according to newton if the resultant force on the moving object is zero 
this object will not stop what will happen this object will continue to move with the same speed it will not change its speed so forces remain balanced an object will continue to move with the same speed if it is originally the moving object and it will continue to move until there is a resultant force but if there is no resultant force the object will continue to move with a constant speed so this is a second statement of newton it state that if it is a moving object it will keep on moving at a constant speed in a straight line when the forces are balanced is it clear the second statement of newton's first law this object originally it was moving like example this object was originally moving and the forces are balanced if for example a ball is rolling and it was moving with a speed of 3 meter per second it was originally moving and now what happened according to newton if the forces acting on the object are balanced like a 10 newton towards right and 10 newton towards left so originally it is a moving object how it is moving that we are not considering we are considering that or initially this object was moving and now the forces are balanced so what will happen this object will not stop it will continue to move with a constant speed or the same speed So according to Newton's first law, if there is a moving object, it will move with a constant speed if the forces are balanced. If it is a stationary object, it will remain at rest when the forces are balanced. So example, if the forces act on the body is balanced, it will stay at rest. Example, a person is holding a bag. So if he apply a force of 10 newton up and the weight of the suitcase or a bag is also 10 newton so what will happen this bag will remain at still position or at rest same thing a person sitting on the chair so when a person is sitting on the chair and he is at rest so how he is at rest because there is no resultant force or the forces are balanced on him the weight of the person is acting downward and the chair is also pushing the person upward so if the weight of the person example is 600 newton downward and the chair is pushing the surface of the chair is pushing him upward so what is the resultant force on the person the resultant force on the person is zero so that's why the person will remain at rest on the here same way a tug of war example they're applying a force and the rope is not moving so what does it mean if a 600 newton or 60 newton force is towards the right hand side same 60 newton force is towards the left hand side that's why all the cases this object will remain at rest Another example like floating object, so weight of the object is acting downward and the upward force from the water is there. So if the forces are balanced, the object will remain at rest. A boy who's holding a helium balloon, so a balloon is rising, try to rise up so it will, 
uh, and a boy is pulling it down so upward force is balances with the downward force so balloon will remain at rest and a boy is standing on the ground so weight of the boy is acting downward and the gr ground is pushing in upward so if the forces are balanced the boy will remain at rest is it clear these examples of the balance forces if the object is stay at rest so whenever the forces are balanced the object will remain at rest but if forces are not balanced if forces are balanced for a moving object it will move with a constant speed example a skydiver or a parachutist fall so air resistance is acting upward and weight of a person is acting downward so example if i say weight and air resistances are balanced if it's a 30 newton upward and 30 newton downward and a skydiver was falling with a speed of say 15 meter per second so after one second in the beginning the speed was 15 after one second the speed will remain 15 after two seconds the speed will remain 15 after three seconds the speed will remain 15 meter per second why because the forces are balanced so whenever the forces are balanced the speed of the object does not change at all another example like for airplane or a cyclist if the forces are balanced they will move with a constant speed and to maintain a constant speed of a car when we press the accelerator so there's a force from the engine which we call thrust so if the force from the engine is 600 newton and the friction of the air air resistance is also 600 newton so this car if it is a moving car a moving object so then it will continue to move with a constant speed like it maintain a constant speed of 120 kilometer per hour so moving objects the object will continue to move when the forces are balanced and if the stationary object it will remain at rest when the forces are balanced so if the forces act on the body's balance then the resultant force is zero example what is the resultant force on this car a 600 newton or is the force of the engine and 600 newton is a force of the air resistance what is the resultant force on the car so resultant force is zero newton an example if i say this car was traveling with 30 kilometer per hour what will be the speed of this car after three seconds will it change if the at this moment the speed of the car was 30 kilometer per hour so because the forces are balanced then this object will not change the speed it will remain same as 30 kilometer per hour Another example like 500 Newton towards right and 500 Newton towards left. So if it is a stationary object, resultant force will be zero and it will remain at rest. So moving object, like example, if I say this car was at rest, it will remain at rest. If this car was moving, it will continue to move with a constant speed. So this was about Newton's first law which state that whenever the forces are balanced then two possibilities are there what are the two possibilities number one if it is a stationary object it will remain at rest number two if it's a moving object it will continue to move with a constant speed in a straight line any question related to this topic uh, then I'll share another link and continue with Newton's second law.
any doubt or a question related to Newton first law even if you have any question other than the topic you can ask it's not an issue 